what is Bortane? I mean, what causes it and how, if, if you can, how can you avoid it? Welcome back to Blue Bay Acres. Today, we are going down the rabbit hole. But before we do, let me tell you why it was important to us and why it may be actually important to you as well. Cheddar was an amazing boar. He was one of our select breeding stock. In other words, he not only made feeder pigs for meat, but his lines and characteristics were good enough that his babies were raised to make other breeders. He was playful and made amazing little kids. By playful, I mean he would flip me sometimes when I would get in with him if I wasn't watching. And normally that wouldn't be an issue. I mean, he was under two, so while he was fully mature, he would normally grow out of that. But it also was cause for concern because you don't want him to be in with smaller kids. Now, a few months back, however, he got rough and harmed one of our feeders and we had to put it down. This is not behavior we want to keep around our homestead. So what do you do? He is an intact male. He's also worth $2,500 normally. Well, we use the opportunity to turn it into a class. Hey, welcome back to Blue Belly Acres. I'm Lee. We actually have some special guests here, uh, Sean and Sean, Sean squared, even though one squared is not two, but anyway, Sean squared. <laughs> my personal joke, I think I'm funny. So, um, have you guys named your homestead yet? We have not. Okay, not well, there you go. There's your assignment for the day. <laughs> Could the meat be consumed if we processed him? Well, if you're unfamiliar with boar taint, it is a smell or a taste that is described as off. Perspiration like almost. Sometimes it's described as soapy or musky, or there's some ways that it's described as much worse. Intact males are not allowed in the US in production pork for this very reason. But understand that it is not just males, though it is higher, about 36% of intact males possess this odor while only 1% of sows and about 5% of gilts and barrows. Now, we were in the process of doing our cuts. We did cook a few small pieces to see if it was noticeable. And I would highly recommend doing this before spending all the time butchering. And less, you know, you're doing a class like we were. So what causes it? Well, there's two chemicals, and I'm probably going to butcher their names completely. Scatol and Androstin, I think is how you say it. But they're, they work synergistically that would produce the smell and the flavor. Various breeds have it in different level. Oftentimes, if you have to process an intact male, if you do it before he is sexually mature, you may be safe. Well, sadly, we were beyond that time. It is higher at different times of the year. Normally, it is higher between October and December. A few things were working in our favor, though. Feeding regiments affect the levels. If a pig is free-fed, in other words, they have feed with them at all times, then it, 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 the level is higher. We raise Idaho pasture pigs, and they're on a very strict diet. We feed them specifically twice a day. The food that they get is very specific, and then they're allowed to eat the, the pasture in between those mills. So this helps. We also give them free access to water and wet their food, which also helps lower the levels. Stocking rates actually affect the levels as well. If you have a large farm, it will raise the levels. We don't have a lot. Even at our highest stock level, the highest number of pigs on the property, we only had about 30, which is oddly enough considered pretty small. The other thing to understand is that while not all pigs will have an issue, humans are the other part of this. Q James. Only about 50% can even detect it. And 15% are not offended and may even find it pleasant. Women do, however, tend to be more sensitive to the smell and taste. Now, sadly, we had to process cheddar. So did we process 200 pounds of dog food? So here's the deal we actually processed. This is a impact board. So some intact boars are known to have what's called tape. It's a off flavor to the pork. Now this has been ground into sausage and has been flavored. So we've tried it, so it's not like we're dead. And even if it tastes funny to you, it's not bad. It's not, it's not yeah. a big deal. But you gotta share a spoon. So. 
Or use your fingers, one or two. It's got Italian sausage seasoning. Does it taste weird? Kind of normal? Because mm -hmm. it would taste more like a soap or a perfume. It could be that. Or it could be really off to some people. Nothing? Yep. All right. You think it's good? Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay, good. Then we didn't waste a whole hog. That's good. But it, it's yeah. genetics. Like, it affects everybody differently. Yeah. So apparently. It's more prevalent in women than it is in men, but it's very low in men. All right, so conclusion? Right. So I guess that's a good sign. Or taint is false. <laughs> that's right.